Hey guys, we're back with another What If episode. Today we've got episode number four, which is What If Tony Stark Landed on Sakaar? This is definitely out there, and this is the kind of thing I love to see from these episodes, right? Where they just go all in on like a crazy different theme or topic for the episode. I really like this. I like it a lot better than when it's just like, what if this character became this character? This is like something we all wondered, you know, oh, what if Tony didn't make it back through that wormhole? Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this video and start showing you how to build the characters from this episode using 100% official Lego parts and pieces. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe down below and let's get into the video. I start off all of these with the Watcher, so here we go. This is the Watcher, the official minifigure from the Iron Man Sakaar set, and it's a great figure. I love it. It's a cool one. You got all the details. I don't know how it could possibly be any better unless it was, like, giant, but uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So I'm happy with the one we got, and let's get into it for real now. So based on the premise of this episode, of course, Tony Stark is going to be wearing his 2012 armor from the Battle of New York. Now, I'm using the one that came out in 2023, and yeah, I don't know, guys. You guys know I don't like these new helmets, but here I am using one by choice in this video. Maybe a sign of the end of the world that I'm coming around to this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but the armor does look great. I just can't stand these new helmets, but I'm using it here, so let's get keep moving on. Oh, yes, yes. Up next, we've got the Grandmaster. There's my little Jeff, Jeff Goldblum impression coming through for you. But the Grandmaster is an actual Lego figure we got back in 2017 for Thor Ragnarok. So, of course, that's what I'm going to use for the torso and head. He's got gray legs here because we don't really have a golden robe that would make sense for the legs. But I did switch out his arm with the one from the Genie from the Lego Disney CMF uh, Series 1 because you get that little gold band right there that adds a little extra extra detail and I gave him the gray receding hairline because I think that looks just slightly better than the hair that actually came on the Grandmaster. Here we've got the Grandmaster's assistant slash best friend slash annihilator Topaz. This one's actually pretty easy to make. The head and hair uh, are both relatively common, but most recently they came on Helen Cho in the Avengers Tower, and the torso is just a flipped around aim trooper from the 2020 LEGO Marvel sets. And there's a lot of aim troopers floating around out there, so this one's actually pretty easy to make. Up next is Valkyrie, and of course, this is the one that came in the 2021 uh, Iron Man Sakaran armor. So there's really not much you could add here. I mean, they have given us some different mohawks and things like that for Valkyrie over the years, but honestly, I like this figure. I think it's aged pretty well, so we're just going to leave it as is. You could add dual molded legs, sure, but I do like this, even without, so we'll leave it as is. Unsurprisingly, we get to hang out with Korg a little bit more on Sakaar, because that's a place he called home for quite some time. And of course, with Korg here, this is the Warrior Korg that came in the LEGO Avengers Endgame Final Battle Accessory Pack from quite some time ago. And yeah, I think this one works out pretty well. If you don't have this, you could use the one from Love and Thunder, although it won't be quite as accurate. Still, both are great figures, and both would get the job done here. Now, Tony is running around in his 2012 attire, which is a black shirt, and in the actual set, the 2021 Iron Man Sakaar and Armor, they gave him, like, a Lego version of his Black Sabbath shirt, but in the show, he actually is just wearing, like, a black t-shirt, so I might recommend that you just flip it around and, you know, use the back of the t-shirt as the front. It would look good, too, but of course... It is just as simple to leave it around the front, so you could go either way. Let me know which one you prefer. I like the detail of this, and it's more accurate to the Avengers 2012 movie, but just flipping it around and using the bare back of the torso is actually more accurate to what we see in the show. So either way, you're set. Now, during the race, Tony's armor kind of gets, like, disheveled and battered around a bit, so we do see him very briefly without the full Iron Man armor on, and it actually reminded me quite a bit of the Hulkbuster Iron Man from 2022. Yeah, that $550 monstrosity came with a minifig that you might actually want to get for this. I actually don't know if that minifig is too expensive online or not. I haven't looked in a little bit, but man, that set is so bad, that big $550 Hulkbuster. So bad. And finally, at the end of the episode, Tony and Gamora team up to go kill Thanos, and we do see Thanos in his gold armor that's very reminiscent to me of what we saw in Guardians Volume 2. So I used this Thanos, which was a minifig from the Avengers Endgame Infinity Saga Sanctuary 2 set. So with that, we're going to round out this showcase and call it a day. 
All right, guys, well, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for checking this out, and I'll see you guys again for another What If video soon.